And now, your first Alert 5 weather. Great viewer video I wanted you to see. Check this out. A couple of young bucks locking horns in Colorado City. Kind of reminds me of Rob and I in our earlier days fighting over the last donut in the newsroom. Just going back and forth there. The deer, they're in the rut. They're looking for a doe, looking for love. And as you can see, when that happens, the wildlife gets wild. Shout out to John for that incredible video. Outside right now, live in Colorado Springs, we're at 64 degrees. Very light breeze out of the south in most neighborhoods. That's live in Pueblo. Sunset over the Rockies. How special is that with those crystal clear skies? Stunning. Here's my big weather story. Here's what's going to happen around here tomorrow. Been talking about this all week long. Here it comes. The first strong October cold front gets here real early tomorrow morning, and you'll know when that front gets to your neighborhood, that wind will kick real strong out of the north. Could see gusts up to 30 and 35 miles per hour, bringing in a cooler air mass. So frost in your forecast early Saturday morning, and this is the reason why I've got your lows right at 33 degrees in both Colorado Springs and Pueblo. So cover that tender, sensitive vegetation. Here's what's going to happen with the wind 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Front still up to the north of us, so we'll be okay. But by 7, windows will be rattling. Gusts up around 30 miles per hour in the springs. Cold front hits Pueblo between 7 and 7.30. So by 8 a.m., you're gusting up over 30 miles per hour as well. Still windy by mid-morning tomorrow. But by lunchtime, I think that wind already decreasing here along the I-25 corridor. And by early tomorrow afternoon, calm conditions as that pressure gradient starts to relax. Sky conditions, there's just not a lot of water for the front to work with, so a lot of sunshine early. I think we will see a few fair weather clouds start to build in by midday. Those clouds will scour out by sunset tomorrow evening. If you're headed out to those high school football games tomorrow, you will definitely want to dress warmly. Biggest game in our area this weekend, it's the Bell Game. 13,000 people rocking Dutch Clark Stadium tomorrow night. You know that house is going to be rocking. Dress warmly at kickoff 58 by the final gun. Clear skies, calm, and 51 degrees. Tracking a storm with a lot of potential potential and yes it's still a week away but I think by late Wednesday into Thursday the storm is going to dig far enough south that we will see a good chance of getting rain here across eastern Colorado if you've lived here long you know it's usually snow this time of the year but they will see snow up across the higher elevations again stay tuned as that one develops and moves our way temperatures today awfully nice 73 in Pueblo 68 in Colorado Springs those temperatures very close to average and it's always nice to be normal or average overnight tonight we'll have clear skies Overnight lows dropping back into the 30s and 40s, and these numbers exactly where we should be this time of the year. Highs tomorrow for your finally Friday, noticeably cooler, and with that wind blowing tomorrow morning, it's going to feel just downright cold, so I highly encourage you to bundle up as you leave the house tomorrow morning. Here's that super seven day in Colorado Springs. Frost in your forecast early Saturday morning with that low of 33, so cover the tender plants if you want to prolong the growing season. That cold air gets out of here quickly. We're going to recover nicely Saturday afternoon. Even warmer on Sunday, everybody out of the house before the Bronco game, 77 degrees with sunshine. Here comes that midweek storm system with the promise of some beneficial water by late Thursday. In Pueblo, afternoon high temperatures, real nice past couple of days, but it's going to get chilly tomorrow with that wind blowing and then frost early Saturday morning. Brisk for those early morning Little League football and soccer games. You're still going to salvage a great weekend with sunny skies and warmer air. Next solid chance of moisture coming in with that developing Pacific storm late Wednesday into Thursday. Canyon City, Mother Nature throws you a curveball Saturday morning with cold air and frost, but you won't strike out. Home run territory over the weekend with those highs back into the 70s and even 80s by Sunday. Woodland Park, a lot of people will be up there leaf looking in Teller County this weekend. The weather will be just as impressive as the color. Beneficial moisture next week, rain changing to snow late Wednesday night into Thursday morning. We're back with more News 5 after a break.